What up, dudes? It's your favorite snow angel shape. I know. Crunch here today. And we got an update that's out. And I'll talk about uh, what's been added, what's been changed. The first... Where do we want to jump? You guys can probably notice right off the bat, they increase the size of the map. Do we want to go pleasant? Let's go salty, man. I want to try to get some kills. Jump salty. So they increase the size of the map. A lot of the... A lot of the changes were sounds. They added uh, footsteps for different types of material. So when people are above you in a house, it'll sound different than when they're below you, which is huge. Um, a bunch of other stuff too. Let's let's get a gun though first, and we'll talk about it. Hi. Hey, why don't you take that bullet with you, buddy? Thought someone jumped down, but I guess not. Yeah, so I got that cool sound they just made. Oh, and this sound too. This is great. I like this. They should add... Oh, he just wrecked him. I can't even see this guy. It's like a shadow. Come here, baby! Yeah, I'm not hitting him. So they added a bunch of sounds for when you're consuming items, when you're falling. Little stuff here and there. Which is fantastic, by the way. It's Better omnidirectional sounds was absolutely needed when you're in a house. Oh, they also reduced uh, your friendly footstep sounds. So you're not, uh, you can hear opponents easier. Let's push this guy, by the way. Oh, we got shots over here. Uh, this guy's running. Don't run! Ah, he's going to the factory. Let's go fight this guy. Because they were already fight. Oh. What the heck was that? They were already fighting, so maybe, maybe they're all softened up. We'll see. Oh, they reduce bandages even though there's a bunch. We've already seen a bunch already. They reduced them by 35% from chess. Legendary. Don't mind if I do. Uh, we're going to drop these bandages. I've been playing with the SMG lately. It's actually really good, just because you can move around a lot. Ah! Oh my gosh. That was way too close for comfort. Uh, what are we doing? Here we go. Whew. So yeah, I've been trying to just switch it up with the shotgun. See if, see if it's worth it to, to do the SMGs when you can. Just change up the play style, you know? Just explore new options. Experiment. Love the, I love the inventory too. That's probably one of the best changes. Is they change the UI a little bit, so it's a little bit easier to move your inventory around. All right, we're low on bandages. We're gonna leave these guys because I like triggering you. Just kidding, we're taking them. I'm just kidding. All right, I know you guys. It was it wasn't funny the first time. All right, someone's here. Die! Oh my gosh! Dude, let's go. That was so weird. I swear, I just shot that guy three times with the shotgun. I must have been really off or something. Where at my shield? Um, we're going to have to find a shield. Otherwise, we're going to get one shot at <laughs> That's the only, only bad thing about solos. Boy, you're always one bullet away from the... Leave lobby screen. That's good though. Let's check the shed over here. 
I think I see somebody. Uh, just kidding. Someone on top of the tower? No. All right. I'm seeing stuff confirmed. Let's go hunting. Try to get some kills. Got this sweet legendary bolt. Oh, my lord. That was way too much. Oh, way too little. Way too much again. Dude, my bolt shots have been off. Oh, just over the top of his head. Yeah, we're going to have to do another bolt only challenge. I think we got eight kills on the last one. We'll try to push for 10 or more. Bolt only. The hard part of that challenge is finding one right in the beginning. He built up. Let's flank him. I don't want to hit him where I was shooting him from because he's probably going to be looking this way if he's on the top of the hill. We'll just outmaneuver him and get him from a different angle. Yeah, that was like one of the first challenges we, we completed was the bolt only. I want to I revisit that challenge now that we've had like a month of playtime. Which really isn't a lot. I was looking at my hours. I only have like, I think I only have like 250 or maybe 300 hours. I thought I had way more. Do you have any traps? Let me see. No, we'll just leave that there. Nice little step. I think I see him. There it is. That's cool when you fall. You hear that sound? It's kind of cool. I like it. It's like the sound you make when you're falling uh, from the jump pads. Let's see what this guy has. Hopefully he's got a rocket launcher, three shields, legendary scar, uh, just all sorts of goodies, man. Just exploded with loot. Oh, I see some wood and seriously, one blue pistol. <laughs> this guy had a blue pistol and a dream, baby. Too bad we crushed those dreams. Oh, I see somebody. I spy with my little eye. Oh, he's bailing. Did he see me? Come on, man. Dude, what is going on with me? Why? You know what? Let's just do this. Tried and true. I'm gonna snipe you with this, baby. There, how's that for a snipe? With the worst M16 in the game. Can't hit him with the bolts. I can hit him with the gray M16 from halfway across the map. It's ridiculous. Oh, speaking of bolt. They, uh, they increased the sound. Or no, not the sound. They increased the distance at which you can hear the bolt. Which is kind of cool. So if you're taking them long shots, they'll still hear you. We need to get a shield, man. Circle's right on us, too. Beautiful. We need to get a shield, and we need to do some more hunting. Somebody's been through here. I don't know why they close the doors. Little snakes. Little rats. Snakes and rats, boys. I don't know if that was just built or if that was there. I wasn't paying attention. I think it was just built. Shot it so I can see if anyone's in it. Nobody's in it. So I don't think he would have repaired it. What the heck happened to this roof? What's going on with this? Oh. Boy, you better be quicker than that! What the heck? What was this guy doing? Just creeping in the shack, dude? 
let's heal up. Where's that hair drop at? It sounded close. I think we're good. We should get better positioning though. Just making sure no one's pushing us. You know, the vultures. Snakes, rats, and vultures. This game's filled with all sorts of wildlife. All right, let's get these other bandages because... Oh! Oh! No! Oh my gosh. I bailed on the... I bailed on my M16 to get the bandages. Let's do this. We're just gonna... We're gonna scare him. Slow his push down, maybe. Get our M16 back. And we're gonna go back up here. Yeah, I got it. And we're gonna build up. Wait, did that bush just move? Oh my gosh. This guy... This guy has some serious discipline. If he was there... Post in the comments. I'll see when I edit, but post in the comments if you guys see him as a bush over when I was shooting grenades. Because that would be ridiculous if he just stood there while I'm shooting grenades at him. It's like a foxhole, boy. He was unaffected by incoming grenades. What a beast, dude. I can't wait to see that. I hope he was, dude. That would be awesome. Man, I'd have ran if I if someone shoot grenades at me while I'm a bush. You kidding me? I'm gone. We're in a great position. We should probably move towards the river though. Or I don't know. Let's see. Let's let's check behind us here. I think that's everybody. I don't know, man. Airdrop. That looks like it's gonna be on the uh, water. Oh! Oh my gosh, she just sniped somebody. Alright, let's go this way. We're gonna use the terrain as cover. That's not good. That always makes me super nervous. One shot, one kill, and we're at 75 health. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire, boy! Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Say hello to this, baby. Woo! Oh, he's trying to run, boy. Didn't your mama ever teach you not to turn your back on the ocean? Oh, no. Oh, oh. Nobody better kill steal. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to die. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's heal up. Let's slow her down. Let's slow her down. Slow her down. Heal up. Heal up. A little too, uh, little too zealous. Overzealous about the, uh, game right now. We gotta win. Let's go get that stuff. Oh, I see a slurp slurp. No kill stealing this round, boys. Oh my gosh, get lit. Oh no! Oh, we're pinched. We're pinched. Oh my gosh. We're pinched. I gotta drink this real quick. I ain't afraid no ghosts. Woo! Oh, he's right up here, huh? Correct. Uh, oh, and he's pushing us. What a beast. Oh my 
gosh, this other guy. Oh, no. Ah! What is this guy doing? Come back and fight me. What are you doing? Dude, what are you? Oh, my gosh, dude. He just killed himself. I literally just witnessed a guy commit suicide in this game. I'm gonna have to go to therapy. This is bad, man. This is gonna be messed up for life. Where's this other guy at? This guy is making me so nervous. Cause he, he's trying to snipe me. There he is. Yeah! All right, missed all my shots. Beautiful, let's go. We gotta push anyways. Dude, this is a weird circle to say the least. Let's get out of here, dudes. I'm done. Nice knowing you, peace. Hey, have a nice day though, guys. Really, honestly. Good luck with that back there. Oh my gosh! Not this crap again, dude! Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! Thank you, Jesus! Dude, what is it about me eating rockets this week? God protects me. The angels... Oh my gosh, dude. Thank you, guys. Let's go get his stuff. Gonna wall this in. We got enough time. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And scar and shotgun and wood and what else? Uh, uh oh, spaghetti. -o. Is he out on the? I think he's out on the house. That's Tony Stark's house, by the way, if you're wondering. Oh, what do we got here? Purple sniper? Nope, we got an orange one. Or gold one. Uh, we got building above us. Oh my gosh. We gotta get in the zone. Look at this circle, dude. This is the craziest circle I think I've ever seen. We gotta build up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're just in it. Perfect. I've never seen the circle land on like almost all water like this. This is nutty. Build the uh, Reno Crunk famous. We're going to do something a little bit different though. I'm going to do that. I want to see where these guys are. How is there six people left? It's all water. Oh, I see one. Let's take a shot at this guy. Oh, someone's got a shotgun below us. Yeah, keep making all that noise, buddy. Maybe he's right. Yeah! No? What are you doing, dude? Oh! Med kit. Let's go. Dude, this is like... Crazy, crazy, crazy. I like these sounds, man. These sounds are great. Fantastic. Consumable sounds. Oh my gosh, it's in the water. Is this guy serious right now? How? Oh, I missed the shot. Please just don't judge me. All right. Some of, oh, uh, some of you know I'm a good shot still, right? Let's go, man. We're getting right into the right beach side, baby. Little house on the prairie, let's go. We're just gonna build like the most cancerous wood because I spent all my resources to save this right here, save the metal, and we'll just build wood like this. Oh, I, I, I don't even know what this is, dudes. 
I don't know what this is. What is this? Where's that one dude that was over there? There's one over in this area. Actually, let's do this. I'm scared. I think there's one by the airdrop over here. Yeah, there he is. Ah! He's not going to make it. He can't outrun the blue. And he can't outrun that rocket, baby. Look at him jumping around. Whoa, what's this guy doing? Oh, he's done too. Dude, these guys are going to kill them. Oh my God. Natural selection at its finest. I was robbed of like five kills that round though. That sucks. We got the guy who committed suicide. We got the guy who died in the he drowned in the lake. He didn't know how to swim. Oh, let's check our stats, by the way. Let me see here. That's kind of cool. Cool little update. I like it. Very good. 24% accuracy. Oh my gosh, that's embarrassing. All right, dudes, that's all I have for you today. If you want to see some big boy keys in tomorrow's video, I need some big boy likes. So we're going for a hundred thousand. No, I'm just kidding. We're going for a thousand. No, I'm just kidding. We're going for a hundred. No, we're going for 10 likes. Can we get 10 likes for next episode? And I will drop some keys in that episode. Good luck. I hope we can make it. 10 of you, if you're listening, please do the right thing. So we are going to continue our series real quick though. Channel update. Uh, sorry about the, the thumbnails being the same for the last four days. I wasn't trying to confuse you guys. I was just doing a little internal rhino testing. I just wanted to see something, uh, see if you guys, if it really mattered what I, what the thumbnails were and it doesn't matter. You guys just want to see some content. So, uh, I apologize for that. I know it was a little confusing on a couple of the videos. They look the exact same and you probably missed one. If you guys go back, if you're bored after this video, go back. I can almost guarantee that you missed one of the videos because they kind of look the same and we're going to get into the Lord's prayer today. So this is Matthew chapter six verse five. And the title of this is the Lord's prayer. Again, still Jesus's words. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your father who is in secret and your father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your father knows what you need before you ask him. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. And we also may have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. All right, guys, there is so much here, and I don't know if we can get through it all. I'm going to try to. Let's simplify it, okay? So the first part of this is basically saying this is how God wants us to pray, right? He doesn't want us to do it and to do it for our own glory or to be seen of other people or at the front of the church or on the corner. Or, hey, look at me. I'm praying to God. He doesn't want that. What he wants is an intimate, private relationship. And not only does he want this private, intimate relationship, which again, it's this, it's this reoccurring theme of humility, but there's actually an exact like line of words he wants us to, uh, he wants us to say to him. And guys, I encourage you to read this and behave accordingly. Like this is what God wants from us. Like you should definitely be praying like this every time. And I'm going to, again, all this scripture link in the description, but this is how God wants us to pray. He's saying straight up, he's like, you guys want to know how to pray? Here's how you pray. Here's a guide and how to pray. First of all, do it in secret. And second of all, say these words. And lastly, but I think definitely not leastly, is Jesus is instructing us 
again, teaching that forgiveness, forgiving others of our trespasses, because when we forgive the others of the trespasses, guess what? God forgives us. And this theme is repeated so many times, this idea of people who owe money to somebody else or mad at them. They, they owe you money, but yet you owe God so much and you're not, we'll get, we'll get to the tax collector parable again, but the idea, the really, really important idea here is that forgiveness. So we're going to do a little exercise. I know this is a little bit longer than the normal end of the videos, but I think this is really important guys. Like this is an extremely important chapter for you guys to understand how God wants us to pray, but also an extremely important chapter in an understanding of forgiveness. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to think of somebody in your head who may have recently uh, put you in a bad place, right? Maybe it's a, it's a girl who broke up with you or she cheated on you or somebody stole from you or somebody lied to you or somebody betrayed you, backstabbed you to one of your friends. They talked bad about you, whatever. I just want you to think of a person in your head and that person is someone that maybe you're mad at or you haven't forgiven, whoever it is, okay? Now, I'm going to ask you two questions. The first question is, do you think that person feels the same way about you? Okay, maybe they do. Maybe they're carrying on to that negative emotion, right? That negative unforgiveness, right? But chances are probably not. Chances are, let's be honest, probably not. They probably don't care, okay? The, the second question is, is what's the difference between their, you unforgiving them and God unforgiving you. Do you think God holds on to all of your sins the way that you're holding on to all of their, their sins against you? Do you think that God has a record of all the bad stuff that you've ever done from start to finish from the moment you were uh, born to the last day on earth? Do you think he keeps a record of all your sin? Can you imagine how much trouble you would be in and how much trouble I would be in is if instead of a book of life, guess what? We got a book of sin, guys. And you know what? Every little darn thing you've ever done, we're going to not only are we going to bring it up and make you relive it again, but we're going to judge you for it. So if God then has forgiven us of all of these stuff, because I guarantee, I don't care what that friend has done to you. It has not been not nearly as much as what you've done to God or the sins you've done against God, I should say. So guys, and I'm sure there's, there's situation there. I'm sure there's some people out there who have some really tough obstacles to overcome. Believe me. I know I, it's taken me years to forgive some family members. It has taken me years to, for God's peace and forgiveness to wash over me and forgive people who, quite frankly, I feel like this is pride coming up saying they're undeserving. They're undeserving of that forgiveness. They're undeserving of that forgiveness. Oh, how ironic. What about me? Am I deserving of God's forgiveness? No, absolutely not. Heaven forbid I am saved by grace. I am so undeserving of God's love and forgiveness. And yet I judge others and say that they are undeserving of my forgiveness. Is that the silliest, most hypocritical, ironic thing you've ever heard? Guys, I hope this is making sense. I hope this isn't confusing. But just, just for your own internal peace, not just for your internal, screw your internal peace, for your salvation, for your salvation, you have to forgive them. You have to forgive them because God forgives you. Do you understand the connection there? And in God's eyes, we're all the same. And you can say, oh, well, he really did this. And this really did this. This really put me in a bad place. And I don't know if I can ever forgive him. Well, you're going to have to because you've done way more against God. And I've done way more against God to ever hang on to any type of unforgiveness. And that's the message for today. That's, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. I, are you guys picking this up? What I'm putting down is did anybody catch any of that today? Like is, is there anyone listening to this still? Any Christians out there listening to this still post in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this guys. Have a wonderful, blessed forgiveness filled Thursday.
Let it go, baby. Life's too short. God's forgiven you of too much for you to sit there and not forgive others. I love you guys. God loves you guys. And I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace and God bless.